Hi, my name is Joe Vroman, and I'm the Director of Executive Recruiting and Military Initiatives for Macy's. Macy's started a military executive development program about three years ago. Uh, yeah, you'll hear that referred to as MEDP, and it just stands for Military Executive Development Program. We started this Military Executive Development Program in our stores division uh, at the senior leadership level. So we're looking for assistant store managers and store managers uh, for the, our 800 plus stores across the country. We also have a program for operations managers and district operations directors. And we are also starting a military program in our logistics division where we're looking for warehouse managers and director of operations for our logistics and distribution centers across the country. Soon this summer, we'll be starting a program for loss prevention where we'll be looking for military veterans to come in as loss prevention managers as well. Some of the personality traits and skill sets that I'm looking for for these programs uh, are basic leadership and education. The foundations of this program really fall onto um, a strong uh, educational background, uh, coupled with a very extensive leadership background in the military. So ideally, we're looking for people that have leadership experience in the military of squad size elements and higher. So ideally, anywhere from 20 um, to 100 uh, people elements um, from the leadership perspective. From an educational perspective, uh, any four-year degree is fine with us. We're looking for a strong educational foundation. Uh, a majority of our candidates that we've hired have typically had postgraduate degrees, uh, MBAs or higher, um, and have extremely done well in their positions here at Macy's. So those are the two basic foundations that we're looking for, our education and leadership. Other than that, the whole purpose of this executive development program is for us to train veterans in the selected area uh, within Macy's, whether it's operations or store management or logistics or loss prevention. For any military veterans that are interested in any of our executive development programs, I definitely encourage you to go to www.macysjobs.com slash military. At that site, you'll be able to uh, actually see some information about our programs. There are some testimonials on there from uh, veterans that are currently working uh, with Macy's. And there will also be a link there that will take you to any of the jobs that I previously spoke of and you're more than welcome to apply. Uh, we're definitely excited to talk to you about these opportunities. What makes me feel good is at the end of the day, and when we hit that goal, that's satisfaction. Great job, and I tell you, it's the way we do it. So that's how we celebrate on this side of the house. I love my job. <laughs> it has its days. I mean, every job does, of course. But, uh, yeah, I love it. Well, I'll come in in the morning, and my gladiator will give me a logistic uh, route on where to go, how many units to get. You'll scan the case. We'll verify the quantity, the UPCs, make sure everything's correct. We'll take it to a location where it's supposed to be, scan it to that location, make sure everything's done correctly, and move on to the next case. That's my scanner, cyborg, kind of high-tech. Hands-free, you know, I'm, I have more mobility, can, can do more things. Start out driving, pretty much replan, picking boxes in order for that customer to get their stuff today on time. When the order is finished, <laughs> I'll put it on that conveyor and it'll go to um, induction and then on to the uh, packers. We make sure everything is right, check off all the UPCs, put everything in a bag with our little cards and ship it away. So shipping is the last phase of a product going through the warehouse. It, it ends up here and it just loads onto a truck from a conveyor. Um, and after that we have people that actually load the boxes onto the trucks. I mean, if you know a whole lot of things here, you'll get moved. Like, let's say I get done with replant. Guess where you're going to go? I automatically know I'm going to restock. And after that, probably picking. And then I'm going to go pack it. And sometimes I actually put it on the truck. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have to go upstairs, downstairs, change waves, change uh, picking routes. Um, but we just try to stay on task, try to keep production. Hitting our numbers and having good quality. That's good. We're making the customer happy. It makes our bosses happy. And it makes us happy in the end. So the one thing I tell them is patience. Don't be expecting everything to go the way you plan it. Something's always going to come up, and you just got to deal with those changes. Sometimes we run into uh, problems that it's beyond our control, that it takes more time to do, we're required to do a good job, a safe job. But it's realistic goals, so as long as you uh, stay productive and stay on point, you'll, you'll reach your goal. You'll, it's not hard.
I do have any duct tape. <laughs> Peak season, for us, it really starts in October for inbound. We start getting a lot of stuff flowing in. Um, it runs through the end of December. Uh, we go from shipping out around 50,000 units a day to about 200, 210,000 units a day. So the volume is just multiplied. You know, it's just in and out, people coming and going, especially new people coming in, seasonal. So we're trying to train them and they're, you know, we gotta watch out for them. It's a busy time. Peak season is the best because the day just flies by because you are so busy and it's chaos. <laughs> it is. It's all about the communication. That's the one thing that if we all communicate, everything else is easy. It's really busy, but I like it. it. Keeps me on my toes, you know, it keeps me going. I lost 15 pounds the first three months I worked here. So tell them to make sure they got some comfortable shoes uh, because we, we do a lot of walking through right here. I believe around 15 miles I got one day. So that's probably an average. Of course, you speed walk around here, so that adds it on too. But yeah, it keeps me in shape. <laughs> Um, it, it's a climate controlled facility, which I've worked in warehouses that weren't, so this is sweet. It's clean, it's safe, um, management's great. Um, just recently they started the Make Magic store, and when you hit your productivity or go above and beyond what's expected, you get Macy's dollars. Culture's good, I mean the place is huge, you got a lot of different people. One thing I've noticed about Macy's as a whole, it's a pretty diverse place. It's just a lot of good people work here. The one thing that I really enjoy about my job is my team. Because I have a drive, I got determination, I feel like I can move up, you know, I have opportunities here. Absolutely, there's upward mobility for sure, to go from a picker to possibly management and, and then some. Hopefully sometime in the future I can step up to supervisor and see where to go from there. It's always growing, you got competitors and everybody's trying to get in this business. And the one good thing about Macy's is we're always staying ahead of it. It's a real good place to be in, especially for fulfillment. Current uh, soldiers looking to transition into a civilian career have a huge opportunity ahead of them. There's expected to be about 20 billion connected devices to the internet. By 2020, that's going to go to 50 billion devices. And the market needs more and more talent to come and support all these systems that are going to be working in a connected world. I think the Networking Academy uh, program uh, gives soldiers not only the academic uh, academics behind the technology, but it also gives them an environment that they can work with experienced people in the, in the industry, as well as get hands-on experience so that they can hit the, hit the ground running. My name is Clint Abrams. I served in the United States Army as a staff sergeant. When I separated from the military, I had no clue I would have ever ended up in the IT field. The biggest obstacle that I faced was trying to find a civilian equivalent to my military occupational specialty. I was introduced to the Cisco Networking Academy as part of an elective class through the Information Security Certificate training program that I was taking at Fayetteville Technical Community College. I have been able to make full use of the post 9-11 GI Bill to pay for all my college classes 100%. As a hiring manager, I, I put a good deal of uh, emphasis on industry certifications, uh, but I look at three areas uh, for anybody that I'm looking to bring onto the workforce. One is going to be you know, their aptitude to be able to do the job. The second one is the level of education that they have, and the third is going to be the level of experience. And I think it's a combination of those three elements uh, that I look for in uh, staffing uh, you know, veterans into roles within Cisco. The biggest benefit of the Cisco Networking Academy has been the strong foundation that they gave me with my networking skills, which allowed me to take that and build upon it to become the engineer that I am today. I've been working in the Cisco TAC for almost 11 months, and my role is a customer support engineer for the wireless TAC. In addition to the coursework for the Networking Academy, I participated in the Cisco NetWriters competition, which is a nationally based competition where you participate in um, written examinations online, um, 
simulation type questions, much like the certification test that you would be taking in the industry. I also participated in the Cisco Live 2012 Dream Team competition where I was selected as one of 10 people across the United States and Canada to go to the conference and work with the Cisco TAC engineers to maintain, build, and troubleshoot their wireless network. As a veteran who is about to separate, or if you have recently separated from the military, I strongly suggest the Cisco Networking Academy for you. The curriculum is easy to understand. It's tested by fire. The Networking Academy prepared me for my job here at Cisco by giving me a very strong foundation of knowledge of how networking works. Living an active lifestyle like I do, it's so important that I stay hydrated. It's so important that when I'm outside, I've got clean water to drink. Purity's been awesome. Purity has helped me go wherever and know that I will always have that clean water and I can continually find new places, discover new trails. The filtration system is really easy to use, whether it's in your backpack or on your bike. Just find it, any source of water, unscrew the lid, fill it up, and it's ready to go. I don't have to worry about any parasites, I don't have to worry about any contamination. It works. I, I love being outside. I need to be able to go out and mountain bike. I don't have to worry about running out of water or cutting a beautiful experience short because I'm out of water. Purity really helps me to just have that confidence to keep exploring, keep living. My name is Jonathan Barnes. I'm currently an ERC voice team lead. Uh, I served four years in the Army. I served a year uh, in South Korea and three years at the Pentagon. Uh, my title was Telecommunications Center Operator. Uh, basically, I was responsible for switching units, just making sure that they were passing the correct messaging traffic. If there was any maintenance that needed to be done, um, that was my responsibility. Actually, I got hired as a contractor. I did an interview for uh, Chris Wright, who is currently now the uh, translations manager. Basically, uh, had a headhunter that had saw that I matched the skill sets for what they were looking for in a repair organization. At Winstream, there are a lot of veterans uh, that I work alongside, so it's, it was very relaxing to come into this environment and uh, talk to those individuals that have been here longer than what I have been. As a vet, if you're looking for a job, the things that will probably give you the, the best advantages of it or the competitive edge would be your ability to focus, um, your ability to follow through uh, any task, and just your willingness to do whatever is necessary to get the job done. Everything has a G14 classified. Uh, 1985 to 1990 in active duty Air Force and then I did Air National Guard from 1990 to 93. I served at uh, March Air Force Base was my first assignment and then I went to Suwon, Korea and then I went to Magdala. I was a tech controller, we call ourselves water walkers in the Air Force. I basically did uh, circuit communications uh, either fixed or remote via the Guard. 
I chose to serve because I wanted to learn about the world and I wanted to learn a job that I could use on the outside. The character of a military person is something that everyone should strive to hire because they are proven, you know. They've been there, they've done it, they survive, adapt. Um, they're just really good people. Pride, there's great pride in being in the military. Committed. Leadership.